Hey, it's Adam, a little loony. Come here for a review -y of Tiny Toon Fabs' Big Break. And here at the Game Machine, I'm going to be doing the review. So I'm going to sing off tune and do a review for you. So please stay tuned to this episode because I'm going to try to climb up with the rest of the tune. Ah, screw it. Here's the Game Machine starts now. In this Game Boy title, we have our hair-tastic heroine, Babs Bunny. Get it? Hair-tastic? Because she's a rabbit? <laughs> Come on. Uh, nothing? Yeah. Anyway. She has her sights set on Hollywood and becoming a big star. Our heroes, Buster Bunny, no relation to Babs, Plucky Duck, and Hampton, or as I like to call him, Mr. Breakfast. Because these guys have nothing else better to do, they decide to follow Babs to make sure she doesn't get in any trouble or get into any white vans with creepy old men. Yes, sure, they have promises of making a big star, but just, just don't do it, Babs. Just, just don't do it. Just, just don't. It's a simple plot, and it sounds like something you would get out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, it was a Saturday morning cartoon, so that does make sense. So if you like Saturday morning cartoons stories in your game, then, then this is, then this will be right up your alley, but it, there's really not much to it. It's really impressive how they managed to capture the look of the show on the Game Boy. Characters, sprites, and environments look great. They look close to their TV counterparts. You will not only run into the show's main characters, but you will also run into some smaller, lesser known ones. Like these rats from the rival school and this cake thing. Yes, the cake is not a lie, but it does plan to try to kill you in your sleep. So make sure to sleep with one eye open. Grip in your pillow tight. Exit light. Enter night. Take my hand. Off to Never Never Land. Hey, hey, yeah. The music on the Game Boy is not amazing, but it's not terrible either. I could see a few tracks getting annoying for some, but for the most part, it's okay. They do, however, have an 8-bit version of the main theme song. And yes, that song will get stuck in your head, and if not, you'll get a little loony. Then after that, well, if you don't get anything out of this music, then... Well, you must have not had a childhood, and you're probably dead inside. Do you need a hug, bro? It's okay. Let it out. It's okay. We're here. Tiny Toon's Bab's Big Break is a platformer, and it's a well-made platformer, but it won't blow you away. Jumping on your enemies works as you'd expect, as it does kill them. Also, each character has a fruit or vegetable they can launch at your enemy. I always knew fruits and vegetables were better at chucking at people rather than eating, because eating dead animals is much tastier. I feel I was lied to by my parents and the education system and Barney the Dinosaur. Friend of my imagination, I call BS on you, you purple friggin' fraud. Each character's jump attack is the same. The projectiles, though, are a little different. Buster launches a carrot, which goes in an arc. Plucky shoots pineapples out of his hand, and they bounce around, and Mr. Bacon, I mean, <clears throat> Hampton, rolls melons like a bowling ball. I find that these are great in certain situations, but most of the time you're never really going to have to use them. Also, you can get away with playing the same character because there's really no benefit of using one or another. In fact, it's pretty easy to play this game. There are a few mini games that are quite a fun little distraction where you can earn lives, hearts, and gems. There are a few boss battles that are unique in the fact that you don't actually attack the person. For example, such as feeding Dizzy Devil and avoiding the little spikes, for example. Overall, it's a very average, short game, can be beaten in an hour. It's a game that I loved and played to death as a kid. It's not a challenging platformer, but if you're a fan of the show and you want to check it out, because there's lots of references and nods to the cartoon. It's also a very good quick game if you need some time to kill. It's very pick up and play. Also, the game isn't super expensive and can be picked up for less than a few dollars. So if you want an amazing platformer that will challenge you to the core of your hardest core gamer, then look elsewhere. But if you want to relive your childhood, or live the one that you never had, get this game. Until next time, game on.
Thank you for watching another episode of The Game Machine. Once again, Anime Courtyard, thank you for letting me host the video on the site. Go check them out for all kinds of reviews on games, anime, and much, much more. On top of that, you should check out my Undernight Inbirth review, which was fantastic. At least I think it's fantastic, and I know my mom thinks it's fantastic. And my mom is usually never wrong, except for that one time, but we're not going to talk about that one time. Check the videos out there, subscribe if you want to find more content, more reviews, and other stuff like that. Working on some things and trying to get some stuff sorted out, so that's why things have been a little weird lately. So thank you guys for watching and your support, and until next time, game on!